nobody is coming to save you. What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Dev, man. And today, man, I want to talk about a little something that, you know, it's been on my mind for a little while. And uh, it has to do with about three years ago, man. You know, the year we're going into 2022, you know, the year just started. And I'm just thinking back to three years ago, which would have been beginning of 2019. And uh, beginning of 2019, my life looked like polar opposite, like totally opposite end of the spectrum of what my life looks like now. You know, nobody is coming to save you, right? I speak to so many people, guys, who have the victim mentality, right? So many people who feel like the world owes them something. So many people who feel like their family owes them something. And, you know, it sickens me because the reality is nobody's coming to save you, right? Like, nobody is coming to save you. And in reality, I would beckon to say that most people don't care. You know, you might have a couple close people to you that may see you down and out and unhappy in a situation. And of course they care, they don't wanna see you like that. But in reality, they're not gonna tell you, you know, go quit that job that you hate. I'll give you $2,500 every month to pay your bills, right? They're not gonna do that. Most likely they're not in the position to be able to do that, right? So three years ago, 2019, you know, I was in a situation where I had just graduated college. Like I said, about a year ago, I graduated in spring of uh, 2018, graduated from University of Akron. Um, so local Akron boy, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, graduated with a business degree, got a job working for a big trucking and transportation business. A lot of y'all have heard this story before, but for those who haven't, enjoy the little quick story. You can see the full story in another video, but long story short, got a job. Um, working for a big trucking transportation business man they started off my salary i was making forty six thousand dollars a year man i was on cloud nine man I had a 2018 brand new toyota camry company car se had it tinted out man i was oh man i thought i was a ceo filling up to that joint sometimes but um anyways guys i was living i was living good right but what i realized was my day-to-day -day, going to work every day wasn't good. I really didn't enjoy the environment that I worked in. I really wasn't a big fan of trucking and transportation. Just wasn't my industry, right? I was waking up every day, just kind of miserable, kind of confused, really wondering like why God had me doing that, right? Now, of course I was making good money. Um, but other than that, guys, I can't really say like, you know, I was really getting much else. I was, you know, learning, it was a sales role. So I was learning how to interact better with, you know, potential business clients and stuff like that. But I can say that I was waking up every day not excited about going in to do what I was doing, right? So fast forward, I graduated, like I said, spring 2018. I'm basically feeling that, you know, up until beginning of 2019. So like I said, about three years ago, right? So beginning of 2019, I'm coming in and I'm about to tell y'all something. I ain't never told nobody, right? I ain't never publicly announced this. Like, of course, I've told my family because my family was involved in it. But, you know, I've never like openly discuss this right but you know in the spring of 2019 or in the you know winter or whatever three years ago this time right i was so fed up with my situation that i was in you know going to a job that i was unhappy with every day right i was so fed up that i decided little old me y'all be seeing me out there on the bikes is that you know what i'm saying little old me i decided that i was gonna put my life on the line and become an Akron police officer, right? And my reasoning behind it was I wanted to be able to make an impact, right? I wanted to be able to, you know, I wanted young men to be able to see me in the community doing something positive and basically be able to say, you know what? I want to be like that guy when I grow up, right? And I was so messed up in the head working that job that I hated that, you know, somehow, you know, I felt like the devil kind of had me blinded, right? Y'all, I'm just being real with y'all. I'm being like, I'm being 100% transparent honest with y'all right now. I felt like I was blinded because I was thinking that that was the only way that I could do that. And it's just crazy how everything works. Long story short, I ended up studying for the test. I took the police test, the written exam, thought I killed it. And long story short, guys, I felt it, right? I felt it by three points. And I ended up, I remember I called down at the you know human resources department at the department. I was like, guys, like I'm telling you, I'm the perfect applicant for this job. Like I'm just gonna make an impact. And you know what I'm saying? They need me and thank God, that they did not care. Right? They were like, uh, sorry, man, but you know, you didn't pass the test and uh, you have to pass the test and go into the next part, which would have been the physical test, polygraph, all that other stuff, right? So God was working behind the scenes and I didn't understand how he was working. But if you notice from my story, I realized that nobody was coming to save me at that job that I didn't like. If I wanted to be saved, God was giving me tools and it was up to me to use the tools to save myself, right? So long story short, I didn't end up getting that police job. 
I ended up having to stay at the corporate job for a little while longer, but God had other plans for me, right? I kept saving up my money and God blessed me with a duplex. The duplex enabled me to quit that job. I got a lower paying job, took a massive step back financially. I was, you know, losing like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars a month from what I had been making, but I gained my happiness. I gained my mind back. I gained that freedom to think freely. You know what I'm saying? Think of new ideas, think creatively. Um, and long story short, man, everything worked out a year later going in or now two years later, uh, it's 2022 now. Um, you know what I'm saying? I ended up finding a job that I really have a passion about. It's in the real estate industry in which you guys know how much I love real estate. Talk about it all the time on the channel. And we now own a lot of rental properties. I'm not going to say like, it's not a ton, but we own a lot more than we did a couple years ago. A couple years ago, three years ago, um, we owned just one property. We owned our first property. Um, it was a single family home that we had currently lived in during that time, the beginning of 2019, right? And then later in 2019, we ended up buying the duplex. So at the end of 2019, we ended with that single family home that we had purchased in 2018, right? And then we ended the year with the duplex. So a total of three units, we lived in one of the units at the duplex, rented out the other side, and then rented out the single family home that we lived in. And that was 2019. And now, you know, three years later, we own seven doors, guys. So I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm just saying that, you know, nobody is coming to save you. If you are in a situation right now in which you're unhappy with everything that's going on in your life, you're going to have to change that, right? And God is going to give you clues. He's going to give you tools. And it's going to be your job to put all of that together and make something with it. You know, three years ago, if you would have told me that I'd be sitting in the situation I'm in right now, in a situation in which we have enough cash flow coming in that covers all of our monthly bills, which means we're financially independent. If you would have told me that three years ago when I was going to a job that I hated and I needed to go to get that paycheck in order to pay all my bills, you would have told me three short years later, I'd be sitting in this situation in which I have a job that I actually like going to every day. You know what I'm saying? I have properties that cover my living expenses so that if I didn't enjoy working, I wouldn't have to. You get what I'm saying, guys? It's, a, it's crazy, but God will make a way when there's no way. When I didn't get that police officer job, I felt like my back was against the wall, right? Because I had put my all into it. I had been training y'all. Your boy was getting kind of big, you know what I'm saying? Like I was just, I was getting it going a little bit, right? And it's just crazy, but everything happens for a reason. God shut that door. He said, Devin, I don't need you out there risking your life like that. I need you doing this. I need you on YouTube inspiring hundreds of thousands of people, right? I need you buying these properties so that you can show people in your community that it's possible, right? That's what I need you doing. And that's what he did, man. He gave me the clues. He gave me the tools. And it was my job to turn that into something, right? I couldn't have did it without him. That's a fact. But he wasn't going to do it for me, right? He going to give you the tools, man. He going to give you the clues. But it's what we do with it. You know what I'm saying? If we don't do nothing with it, you can have money saved up. But if you don't know that money ain't doing nothing sitting in the bank earning 0% interest, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? He gave you the book to read. You ain't read it. You know what I'm saying? You need to learn. Put that money in the stock market. Let it grow. Market average between 7 and 12% a year. You know what I'm saying? S&P 500 over the past 30 years, guys, averages 11% return, man. Your money sitting in that bank account ain't doing nothing. But you mad because you ain't never got no money. Oh, man. You ain't got no money invested. That's the issue, right? You now you got money sitting in the bank. All these properties in your community need fixed up. You could fix these houses up, rent them out, do a cash out refinance, pull out your equity, and you living good. But you don't know none of that because you ain't used none of the tools that God has given you to change your situation, right? I was in a situation that I was very unhappy with. I was waking up depressed. I felt like my relationship at home with Dom was suffering, man. Life was rough. But at the end of the day, I realized that, you know, I couldn't stay there. I couldn't stay there. And I prayed about it. I asked God to change some things. And I thought... I thought it was gonna go the way I wanted it to go, right? Or I thought I wanted it to go. I really didn't, I didn't know I wanted to make an impact becoming a police officer, right? But was that really what I wanted to do? I didn't wanna fight crime, guys. I don't wanna pull people over. I'm a speeder myself. Y'all see me in a black, like, come on, I don't, I don't, I'm not about to be a hypocrite. Like, I don't, I'm not about to pull you over for speeding, you know? You know, I'm, but I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to carry no gun all the time. Like, that's not, like, no, man. I'm a man of God, man, and I'm just trying to promote peace on this earth. That's it. So at the end of the day, I thought that, you know, I was going to be able to do that. But God shut that door and he said, no, nah, I got a greater door for you. 
And if I would have got that job, I'm sure everything would have worked out in the way that God would have had it work out. But the way he had it work out the other way, you know, being three years later, from 2019 to 2022, sitting where I'm sitting at now, um, it's just a blessing, man. And I never could have even told anybody that life would have ended up like this, right? So anyways, man, I want to thank y'all again for tuning in to another video, man. Always remember, when God is in it, there is no limit, man. There is no limit. This year alone, or 2021, I'm sorry, I'm, I keep thinking it's 2021, but it's 2022, right? So in 2021, I thought that I was only going to be able to buy one property, right? And I had saved up for like eight months just to buy that one property. And do you know that God opened up a door after we finished that one property? And he said, all right, you've been faithful over the few, right? And he said, you know what, Devin and uh, I'm going to make y'all ruler over many. We were able to buy two more properties in 2021 alone, guys. When God is in it, man, there is truly no limit. Thank y'all again for tuning in to another video, man. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch up with y'all in the next video. Peace. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by, yes, me, Devin Clark. Guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. But I also want to make a quick announcement. If you don't know, I am a youth inspirational speaker so if you have a school or event or organization that you would love for me to come speak to i would love the opportunity to do so so go visit my website at devinclarkinspires.com go watch one of my videos and if you have an event that you are interested in me coming to speak to i would love the opportunity to do so back to the video peace